cheeky crumbs. Today we're going to be making this absolutely gorgeous pattern Swiss roll. It has some chocolate hearts on the outside and a lovely vanilla Swiss roll cake. It is yum yum delicious. So let's get started. What you're going to need, two dots. For the pattern you'll need one egg white, 20 grams of cocoa powder, 20 grams of flour, 30 grams of sugar and 30 grams of butter. For the cake you'll need four eggs, 100 grams of sugar, 60 grams of butter and 95 grams of flour. And then I'll be using some pink food coloring and a little Ziploc bag as a little sucker bosh. For the filling you'll need 250 ml of whipping cream and 60 grams of icing sugar. I have printed out this uh, template I made with little hearts and I'll put a link to this template down below so you can download the same one and I'm using a 32 by 22 centimeter tin. To make your pattern in a little bowl we're gonna sieve in the cocoa powder and flour. Next you're gonna add in your sugar, egg white and your butter that I have just melted this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And you want to stir this all together until it's nice and combined. I have transferred my batter into the little Ziploc bag just like this and I have placed a sheet of wax paper on top of my template. Now you want to snip off a little corner from the bag and we're just going to pipe on our hearts on top of the wax paper. Slowly, you're just gonna draw your little heart. Just like that. Once you have drawn all your little hearts on your paper, you're gonna place your tin in the freezer until we've made the cake batter. While our cake pattern is in the freezer, we're gonna make our cake batter. So in a large bowl that you can use a mixer or in my case, my kitchen robot, I have placed my four eggs and sugar and I will beat this on medium speed for about 10 minutes until it's nice and light and fluffy. While your eggs and sugar are beating away, preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Now you want to sift in a third of your flour and then we're gonna gently fold this in using our spatula. Next, I have melted my butter in the microwave and we're gonna pour a third of it into the batter and mix. And we're gonna repeat this until all our ingredients are finished. So you wanna put another third of your flour, mix another third of your butter, mix until it's all finished and incorporated. Now we're gonna add just a couple of drops of our pink food coloring. You can actually use any color you like. And I'm just gonna start with a couple of drops because this is a electric pink and adjust accordingly. So I've taken my tin out of the freezer and remember that you need to remove the paper template from underneath. Because we don't wanna cook that. And now we're going to take our cake batter and spread it over the top. Now you want to bake your cake in your preheated oven for about eight minutes. When you touch it, it doesn't have to be soggy and it needs to be springy, but don't let it cook too long or it will crack when we go to roll it. 
So I've taken it out of the oven and if I had been a little more intelligent, I would have put the baking sheet underneath going to the corner so I just would have been able to lift it. But instead with my spatula, I just had to unstick the sides. So that's fine. So now you're gonna take a piece of parchment paper, lay it on the top and using your oven mitts, be careful, you're just going to flip it over and get it out of the tin. Just like so. And now you want to gently just remove this layer of parchment paper and reveal our gorgeous pattern. Oh, so cute. Now you're gonna take another sheet of baking paper, parchment paper, whatever you wanna call it, and you're gonna flip it one more time. Now you want to remove your top parchment paper and we're gonna roll our roll nice and tight until we get to the very end. And then we're gonna let this cool at room temperature. To make the filling, we're gonna place the whipping cream and icing sugar in a bowl and using a mixer or our little best friend kitchen robot we're gonna whip it up into firm peaks i also actually like to put a little bit of a vanilla essence in my whipping cream but that is completely optional now that our filling is ready we are ready to assemble our cake so you're going to gently and slowly unroll the cake very gently, gently. There we go. You can't unroll it all the way because that will just need to stay that way. If you want to be super neat, you can cut to the edges, but my edges are, are actually quite neat already, so I don't mind too much. Using your spatula, you want to spread your mixture out. You don't want to overfill it because then while you roll it, it's just going to come out the other end. And somehow, using a little bit with your spatula, you want to try and put some into that little crease as well. Just like that. Now we can roll up our roll gently and as you can see the filling is starting to run which is fine and when you get to the end you just want to get your spatula and remove that excess like just like that take some cling film and you want to wrap it tightly around as we will be placing this in the fridge for um, an hour or two just until it all firms up and the cream is nice and cold and then we can serve it. So here is our patterned Swiss roll and it's so pretty and swirly and the little hearts on the top are so cute. In order to make it super pretty, I have cut the edge off, which is over here, and it's what I'm going to be tasting. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy and airy. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. So I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did give me a 
thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and what you would like to see me make in my future videos. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!